All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, happy Friday to you. Sun's finally coming out here in uh, Northeast Ohio. This weather's terrible, but you know what? Every once in a while, we get some sunshine, like we did with the market today, too, right? So over the last 48 hours, it's been kind of crazy. I, I want to take this moment to talk about something. It's been on my mind a lot because I see all these comments all the time come in, right? People need to stop overreacting to a 24-hour trading session. What do I mean? Well, these last 24 hours, Bitcoin takes a, you know, it takes a dip, Ethereum takes a dip, and all of the comments turn to, why is Bitcoin dumping? What is going on? Why is the sky falling? What happened to Ethereum? Guys, it's crypto. We're in a highly volatile market. If you're not ready for it, don't trade in this environment. Dollar cost average then. Just, you know, passively invest in things that, you know, you think are gonna do well long-term. If you're not ready for the volatility, Maybe crypto's not for you. And I think a lot of new people need to hear this, whether they like it or not, that's the honest truth. Be ready for five to seven to 10% swings within a 24 hour period. Now, you look at the charts today, all of a sudden they've reversed and they're back to where we were before the dip. So I go back and ask, why is everybody freaking out? If you're not playing the long-term in crypto, you've gotta be really ready for the volatility. You gotta have nerves of steel. If you're playing the swing trading game, the day trading game, you're, you're, you're ready for massive price action, both to the upside and to the downside. If you're not, then passively invest and call it a day, right? But uh, we're looking at a lot of different things. We want Bitcoin you know, to kind of get back up over 46K. That's our number. If we can kind of get back over there this weekend, we'll have to see what happens Saturday and Sunday. Over these past probably eight to 10 weeks, really to start 2022, the weekends have been a really weird period where Bitcoin and Ethereum and really the overall crypto market tends to dip a little bit. Then it comes back Sunday night as they gear up for a new week. So we were uh, coming back up today, still doing that. So nice little reversal. Uh, and we'll continue to kind of see and monitor things as we are leading up to a big, big day, big uh, couple days, right? The Bitcoin Miami conference, April 6th to the 9th, could have some major announcements. The last couple years, we've had major announcements, okay, coming out of this. Uh, of course, last year, Jack Maulers broke the news that uh, El Salvador would be accepting Bitcoin as legal tender, then it came to fruition. Pretty recently, uh, he actually had a hat on that was the old Apple logo. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe Apple is uh, set to get into crypto. He's gonna be a you know keynote speaker there. I'll be out there with a good buddy of mine who's also got a crypto channel. I'll tell you more about that uh, and some upcoming stuff. But with that being said, just wanted to you know make sure and remind people that it's a volatile space that we're playing in, right? So don't overreact. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. And uh, remember why you invested in whatever asset it is uh, that you're looking at in the first place, right? And if your feelings have not changed, there's no reason for you to freak out, right? So keep that in mind. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Appreciate it. Enjoy the weekend. See y'all soon.